Good morning. Today I want to podcast on drug addiction. So what might I be wanting to talk about? Well, I'm finding that I'm, I have been for a while and you can look back and see I've made other videos on this subject. The number of people passing from addiction is something in the neighborhood of three times higher than COVID, yet we're not talking about it. And so I'm wondering why, as a society, and our voices are throttled, right? They don't want us talking about a lot of things. They want us, they want to cut off TikTok, as we all know. They don't want us having this inner dialogue. We, they'd like us to remain cut off and speaking only to one or two people about the things we think. Because in numbers, we have power to make incredible changes to our circumstances. So today I wanna to just talk about what is drug addiction? Why is it happening on such a basis, three times higher than COVID and no one is talking about it? Well, I have, as I said, I've done other podcasts on this subject. It's a subject that's near and dear to me and somewhat personal. I was always very fearful as a child that I was going to be an addict and, and die of an overdose. And so probably in a past life, that's maybe what happened in this lifetime. I had a healthy fear of drug addiction. So very early on in my childhood, I, I was avoiding at all costs the thoughts of it because it scared the hell out of me. So here we are, we have a time right now where people are actively using combinations of fentanyl, trank, heroin, IV drugs, that simply rot their bodies from the inside out and kill them very quickly. And this is like open air drug markets. You can watch videos on Kensington, which I occasionally do because I want to check in with humanity and see what's happening because what affects those in Kensington also affects you and I. You may not think so, but it's true. And what is happening here? Well, a drug that literally eats you from the inside out at a time when regulation to help addiction is almost just non-existent. They'll just hand you the drugs on the street practically. And Narcan, the one option you have to revive, does not work against Trank. So people are dying. Now I wanna talk about real quickly why this Again, the subject bothers me so bad. And it goes back to, I was a child during the Vietnam War, and the fact that, that people would get off a plane, men, young men, 18, 19, 20, get off a plane and be immediately introduced to a spoon, a needle, heroin, okay, and came back as addicts. And then they were outcasts in society. It was so easy to see them as other, not human, because while well, they were so physically gone from their human selves through drug addiction. And I can't help but think that that was a strategy on the part of those at war or warring to keep the American youth in a state of dissidence, of, of, of lack of awareness or caring at all about what they had in front of them. So it was used in that sense as a method of war, which it always has been, by the way, in some way or another, because methamphetamine from the World War II in Germany was, that was one of the methods they used to help the soldiers just not care that they were viewing people like trash and property and literally pulling their teeth to get the gold out of their mouth for their own personal riches so or the riches of the government or however that that worked but a lot of people made unjust gains against people and it wasn't just the jewish people by the way in world war ii it was if you had a medical disability that was such that it was more costly than not, you might find yourself in a place that wasn't very safe for you. So we have some history here that's pretty scary in a way and what we do to each other. So I am simply going to ask these cards, one of my tarot decks, the animal, uh, I, I can't remember what this one's called, 
But anyway, I've, I've got plenty. And what do we get? Well, largely, who's responsible for this? Well, it is the emperor. It is those who lead the charge. And it is those who are benefiting and making the money, as you can see the feathers hanging down under the branch, where the gain is very real for certain people who sit above all the rest of us in their infinite wisdom and decide what is best for the masses. And in this sense, a lot of the masses dying from addiction. Three times the number of COVID cases. So the real epidemic isn't COVID, it is drug addiction and the fallout from it. And literally people rotting on the streets, which is so gross. It is such a gross thing. And that's our card in the past where they have established and created an environment where they're the wise ones sitting up on the perch deciding the, for the dog on the ground what's going to happen, that loyal dog who follows them into war, or into addiction, or wherever it leads, because this person looks so wise and capable. But are they? They're really making some messed up decisions for us, the people. And then, right now, what do we have? We have Ace of Swords. People are starting to think differently. They're starting to realize there's something very wrong with the leadership we have what's popping up out of the center isn't working for us. And so many of us are seeking other ways forward. Pluto in Aquarius happened on the 23rd, where it is asking us to look at groups, to look at how we see things. And of course, it's just getting started. So it's just kind of a tiny little preview and then it'll go back in April into Capricorn, where it is going to just kind of be there again for a period of time. And then once it rocks back in again next March, it's permanent. So whatever we see in the air at this point will be a preview of things to come. So pay attention to what this energy manifests into. We have no way of knowing for sure. We can have some general ideas. But here we are. We're making a huge transformation in the 11th house of groups, an air sign. It is fixed. So I expect it to be something to see. So let's just let that sink in. And then the final card for this on the addiction is three of pentacles. What is this really about? What is addiction about? Well, addiction for the, for the wealthy is about money. It's about outfoxing us. It's about creating for self and leaving a bloody trail. And you have to, I have to wonder why are the wealthy so busy right now stacking money in their closets? What do they know that we don't know? That part makes me uncomfortable as well. So maybe they think they're being generous and kind by helping a lot of people off the planet right now. And no doubt these people have agreed to this because they're using the drugs knowing full well that it could kill them. But what I'm bothered by again is that we live in a system where a lot of us really do still need mommy and daddy, unfortunately, because we're all kind of like toddlers, but those that need mommy and daddy rely upon the government, this guy here, to be honest with them. And he's not. He's not honest at all. So here we are. What is this about? Well, it, it and the three is kind of an interesting number. It, it is suggesting that in the future that we're not going to be so comfortable with some parts of the whole, and especially financially. And I think we've all been kind of realizing banks failing. There's lots of things happening. You know, again, I don't know what that's all about, but that's also on tap here and it's already happening. So you kind of want to look to the past to see what's going to be present in the future. So with that, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. And if addiction has somewhere impacted you in your life, maybe through family members, people you love, friends, uh, maybe you as like myself thought about it as a child and, and were scared of it, leave, up, leave your comments. Tell me how you see this. And thank you so much for joining me here. And again, I want to say, I forgot to mention this, this content is usually produced at night with my 
my co-reader, Maha, where we discussed these issues. And she brought this up to me last night and said, hey, what about addiction? And I'm like, oh my God, yes. Okay, so please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me here.